and the Rockets. Okay, just joking, but this is the American series by Kenyo. What's up, people? You're welcome back with Kenyo, and this is a new podcast. I know you're like, Kenyo, you have a lot of new podcasts on your podcast. Yes, I do, because I'm always talking about something new. I got lots of different parts of me. Anyway, today we're talking about American. American, American, American. This is going to be my new series of um, podcasts for the foreseeable future because you know what does it mean to be american i want to hear like from you guys i'm just gonna like be dumping all of my ideas on what i think it means to be american there's not going to be any order or organization to any of this whatsoever it's going to be mostly based off of your feedback and then what's literally just on my mind um it'll be better if you guys give me feedback because whatever's going to be on my mind is going to be pretty random and might be subject to boringness um but I'll try to pick um, whatever I think is a top headline to start off of. Um, so, okay, this is a good headline right here. A couple aims guns at St. Louis protesters. So a couple. Um, you know what's funny about that? Americans are really known for their gun thing. I was watching this. Um, um, it's not funny. I guess it's kind of funny. I was watching this show, and there was a futuristic thing called The Feed. It's on Amazon right now. I actually wrote an article on it on ideaparties.project4.tv. And I was talking about how, um, it's like weird. No, no, I was talking about how the episode was weird, and they did some weird stuff. But in a different thing that I wasn't talking about, they had a, in a different part of the episode, they had a, one of the episodes, they had a joke where... They were like, she was like, oh, they, they went out shooting, and this is the future where people don't really do shooting anymore, really, because um, it's the future, further in the future, there's just really no reason for it. Um, plus, police can, like, scan for people and stuff like that. There's a bunch of reasons, but people really just aren't into guns that much. But they went out to, like, this old-timey place, and they're shooting guns, and they go, it's the American thing to do, or something like that. And I thought that was funny. One, she was British, so that I'm... Now that I think about it, no, she was American, okay, but they were in the UK or some kind of future version of Europe. Anyway, she was from Detroit. But Americans have this thing, right? Guns. Guns and Americans. It's like they go together for whatever reason. The idea is that Americans really like to shoot guns. My question is, is that an American thing, to have guns? The right to bear arms, we like it. It's a it's a huge part of the American nostalgia, the American energy, guns. I don't really have a problem with guns. I do think that they're somewhat of a primitive technology. Um, but I don't I don't I like guns actually, if I think about it. My dad actually used to, I mean, he he still has, like, a small gun that he uses to kill rabbits and stuff like that, but I think he used to have a couple other rifles, and then BB guns were always, like, a thing when we were younger, and I was, like, I like shooting, shooting guns, and I, even, like, every now and then, when I'm in Barnes & Noble and I pass the gun magazine, I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool, you know? Then you think about somewhere like the UK, where cops don't even have guns, wouldn't work here, because, you know, guns are, like, literally illegal there, but they're not illegal here, so you can't say that cops can't have guns because the criminals have guns but um do i think guns need to be illegal to the do as much of you know that we have the national rifle association which i think is just bored older people you know people get bored when they're older and they start joining weird clubs like there's so many other clubs you could join though but i mean we got that that's a huge part of um american and american culture the idea that we want to have guns and i live in texas um, this is, you know, and they, people like to think of Texas as a very gun-heavy place. I haven't seen that many people driving around with guns or having guns, but I, I guess it's a thing that's going on, you know, I'm not paying too much attention to it. But, um, anyway, guns. Guns are American, are they? I'm going to go ahead and say that this is somewhat true. I think that we might have a little bit of an exaggeration on it. I think we're not really going to know too much where guns fit in the grand scheme of things until the next weapon comes out, like the like the next whatever kind of weapon. Because, you know, back in the day, people used to carry, like, you know, like Italy and stuff like that. I don't know what day I'm talking about, but back in a day in Europe, and I'm doing Eurocentric history um, in Africa... They, they still probably do this, but um, 
people carry knives on them because it's just like you got a knife to protect yourself you don't want to get you know everyone has like a little they used to carry swords on them you know and then it, then it became like daggers and then again I don't know how accurate my history is on that so I'm like I think guns are just our our version of the knife you know we people want to carry it around on them to protect themselves um and, uh, sure, 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 sure. But I wonder what the next, the next weaponized technology, I think there's a, there's a lot to be done with security because we don't really need to be exposing ourselves to other humans. We've seen this a lot with the COVID stuff. You know, you just don't need to be in contact with this many people. It's kind of, which has always been the problems with cities, cities, you know, before aqueducts, you know, there's always been a sanitation issue going back to Old Testament Bible days, you know, they had Bible verses where they were literally telling people, hey, this is how you need to poop, because people are just pooping in weird ways. It's a problem. Human beings are a danger to each other. Um, so I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly um, what's coming next, but I think there's going to be some around personal revolution. I think, because really, it's going to get to a point, I think, this is just an idea of mine, where one, you, you just won't need to, even in a big city, you won't have to see a majority of people unless you have a hyper specific reason like it's a doctor or something like that I don't understand what what about New York and the subway I have no idea but in other cities where I think it's just going to be more about the technology is going to make it so that locality when it comes to labor isn't a thing mostly obviously lots of things are still going to be there but they're slowly going to get worked out more and more and more up until the point where we have like literal um you know all factories are entirely 100 percent automated we don't need human beings to do anything physical as far as like sorting looking at stuff moving boxes all that stuff once robots can do all of that then you know we won't have anyone in those areas and then the digital stuff that people are doing on computers i think will be very long lasting because the utility of a human being's creativity on computers, I don't think it's going to be shrinking at all. I think it's going to be massively expanding. I think there's going to be more jobs than ever from working on home. Because you have to remember, business is about competition. So it doesn't matter if they figure out a way, an industry standard, you know, computers can do this, this, and this. The fact of the matter is, money comes from and goes to people. So there's always going to be a way that you can organize, you can increase the organization of human beings to increase um efficiency of delivery because people you know like w whether it becomes okay now anyway there's just so much specialization to do i think it's going to blow up on, on the digital scenes even more but that's all going to be from home stuff and then people will be getting everything delivered and of course you'll still be going to doctors uh, social gatherings and certain other things i don't think it's going to be like anti-social and terrible i don't think people would put up with that um we take for granted you know how serious we are with the things that we desire. I don't think people would. But anyway, we're supposed to be talking about guns here. I don't know that much about guns, which is why I told you this episode was going to depend on uh, your feedback. So I would love to hear um, from some people out there. You know, th this story, a couple aims guns at St. Louis pro protesters. I kind of just stopped at couple aims guns and I, I took out the first two words in guns and I just made this whole episode about guns because there's a lot of interesting things to think about. It's like, why would you aim guns at protesters? That's weird. Um, I don't know what the, you know, I, I think actually the incredulity at um, the anger towards anything is always foolish. It's like, why do you think people are angry? Because people are afraid. Do you understand? Like, I don't think people understand how afraid human beings are. Like, they're just scared. You know, like, they're scared. And then they listen to the news, which is this big, uh, Raging This Machine, one of my favorite bands, had this line, and they're like, uh, your only God is fear. You know, people can, they can have Christianity, they can have love, they can have all this other stuff, but when you are so afraid, and he was saying, your only God is fear on the radio. But when you are so afraid on the radio, uh, when you are not on the radio, sorry, this, this guy's changing, doing something to his car, and it's like, I'm like, dude, the light's going to turn green again. He's smiling, he's happy at, his, at himself. That's what America is. America is a place where you can do weird stuff. But anyway, um... 
uh, your only fear is God on the radio. And we, we, we tuned into these fear streams. The radio is a fear stream. You know, the TV is a fear stream. Should we be afraid? Yes, I think you know, fear drives us to innovate. But it also does some weird stuff. So we can't be surprised that human beings um, take action because that's... Take, take action because of fear. Because that's what... That's what they're out here doing. That's really what they're out here doing, more than anything else. Um, so, am I surprised that people decided to take guns and aim them at protesters? Am I surprised that the news decided to report that? Um, no, you know, because uh, people are scared, and the news likes to report on things that either make people scared or about things that make people scared. Why? Fascinating, fascinating. And is fear a negative thing? Not at all, you know. Um, I'll get more into this later in my sermon series called, uh, The Fear of God. I'm joking, I'm not dropping a sermon series, but I could, and I think, uh, <laughs> I mean, seriously about that one statement, the fear of God is the beginning of knowledge. That's a Bible passage also, and I'm like, yo, that, that is where we see the good aspects of fear. When fear motivates us to preempt our own egos, for the sake of doing something worthwhile, I think you actually see some of the good of fear. But when fear becomes a reason to protect yourself at all costs, not change yourself, but to protect yourself at all costs, it can be used to do anything. And that could be good or bad. And, and um, because people go through a lot of things in their life, they do... They do struggle to hold on to love, you know. Uh, the more I age, I actually understand it. I'm like, you know, it, it's hard to hold on to love. But that's also part of what being American is, right? Like, holding on to love. Uh, so, all right, I'm going to end this. I'm going to end each one of these American things with a question. Is Americans more about guns or is it more about love? You tell me what you think. Um... I'm going to be posting this everywhere. I'm going to try to get feedback. I'm going to post the feedback um, everywhere that I can. Um, so post requests for feedback everywhere that I can. So I hope to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for listening to American Viking.